So we're going to look at installing FSUIE for Linux. And first thing we need to do is actually go to the official website. So this is the FSUAE Amiga Emulator website. Um, I put the notes in the of the actual URL in the show notes afterwards. And as you can see here, we've got the two download links. I've gone to the download section here, so we can actually click down the bottom here, and we can actually see the command lines to actually run in our terminal to actually run the actual commands to install this software itself. So this is just an app get. So what I'm going to do is just open up a terminal. And from our terminal, once I find it, we can just actually just paste in the lines that we that are actually on the site. And I'm just going to jump back to the site and just copy the first line. So I'm going to use this one. So first, thing, first of all, we're adding the repository for the actual, uh, to get the software itself. So I'm just going to go out to edit and paste there. You can use the shortcut depending on what system you're using. Obviously, if you've got a different keyboard, it'll be a bit different. And that's just installing the software there. Sorry, the repository there for you. And we've got a bit of an error here. So we've got a timeout reached. So I'm just going to run that command again. Just wait till it finishes. So I'm just going to run it again. So I'm pressing the up key. So we can actually get our command back and we just run it again. So it's looking looks like it's having the same bit of trouble. So we're just gonna leave it. Oh here we go. So that's it. That's that's all installing now. So we just jump back to our website and we'll copy the second line down, which is just a, an apt get update. This will just update our app environment. I'm just using edit paste again. I haven't got a uh, shortcut key viewer or a key viewer on my uh, system at the moment, which I'll put on there in the future so you can see what shortcut keys I'll be using. And I'm just going to copy the last line to actually install the FS UAE software itself. Again, going out to edit paste. And then selecting yes or why. Don't worry about this. If you get a problem coming up here, this is probably my system. So that should all be installed now. So if we go down to our share applications, and you can see two pieces of software being installed. The first one is the FS UAE Arcade, and we'll get into this later of what this actually does and how to use it. But the main one we're looking for at the moment is the main application. So the FSUAE launcher. So let's all open up nicely now. You can see there's nothing actually in here at the moment, so we need to go a lot go and set all this up in the next stage, which I'll be doing a video on. It's worth just looking through the menu items to see what you got here. So you can see there's nothing set up at the moment. So it's just a bare system. So to get this working, we have to actually install ROMs. So these are kickstart ROMs. And there's two ways of actually getting these, the legit way and the not so legit way of downloading them from the internet. So we're gonna have a look at that in the next video. If we look at the files and go to home and documents, FSUAE, you can see the actual file structure here. So we've got hard drives, floppies, and then we've got our kickstart, and that's where we're going to put our ROMs. We've also got CD ROM drive there. But the kickstart's what we're actually interested in. As you can see, they're empty at the moment. And yeah, an Amiga working, you have to actually fill this with kickstarts, and we'll do that next.